Good morning and welcome back to Ireland's Allotment. It's the 5th of August, Saturday the 5th of August 2023. And a right old miserable day it is as well. So I came up early again today to try and get a start and at least get the sleepers moved from where I'd just dumped them over into the growing area ready for the uh, project doing the new beds. And I came up about 8 o'clock and I've already got the sleepers over there. I'm out of breath now though, but so I'm going to have to have five and a cup of coffee. But just as I was walking back to the shed to put the kettle on, the rain's coming. So, I'm not sure whether we'll get that done today, or make a start on it I should say. We're not going to get it done, but I was hoping to get a start on it today at least. Get the soil through what we were tarpaulin and at least rotivated. So I'm going to have this cup of coffee and then if the rain should either stop again or ease off we'll be out there having a go. Right, so it has been raining on and off. I've been dodging the raindrops but I've still been getting some work done. Once I get something in my mind then you know, you boys you know what I'm like. I have to keep going, don't I? So, in, I'll, I'll spin you around now and I'll show you what we've done anyways. Right, so the first thing I've done is I've pulled out the last of the first round of carrots. And the reason I did this is because some of them were starting to put the shoulders above the soil level. And I checked one or two, seeing they weren't a bad size, and I decided I would harvest a lot and get them out now. Because I did notice just an odd one, and it is only an odd one. Looks like it might have a bit of carrot roof fly. We'll just throw that one on up the equation. But I think that is the only one I've seen. Yeah, that's just soil and muck, that one. Just soil and muck. So I've just took all of the tops off them, give them a bit of a rinse and leave them there to dry off a bit. Right, so I've now made a start on these beds. So I know people don't like plastic. I don't really myself, but it definitely has its uses in the garden. So to cover the wood chip, so I didn't get it all mixed together, I basically laid a strip of plastic down there. Got more here if we need it. And I've taken off all of the good compost, cow manure, etc. From over, the, from over the years. And I mean, you can see this soil. You know, this is all compost, bought in compost, uh, bought in cow, rotted, well rotted cow manure. It's had fish blood and bone. It's really, really good stuff. But well, you can probably just see under here that this is all like clay and you can still see the mole tracks because of how compacted it is. So we're going to get these beds off now. Now as look what have it, these sleepers cover these two beds which is fine. Which means I can still have my little pathway at the end of there and not have to move that bed which is what I was envisaging I was going to have to do. So, I've had to take, this wasn't such a good idea, to, uh, you know, things change and we, we change plans. But we put this, um, I could now, I mean basically I've had to dig these two plants out and cut the climber off and as you can see, it had already almost got to the top. Which is a shame, needs must. Um, I suppose there are only flowers at the end of the day, but yeah, it'll come back. It's still, I've kept the bottom of the plant and it's still got roots. We'll repot those and we'll decide a better place for that to go. I'm just having a five minute rest. So what I've done now is I've built up these two high. Now there's only that side that's pretty level and they're only just temporarily tacked in place with one screw holding them. And you'll see it's only one, one high here, two at the back and two on this side here. And that one isn't level, squared or anything else. It's just literally the span of the bed to give me the internals of where I need to dig. And by building it up like that, hopefully I can contain the soil in there while the rotivator is gone. So what we're going to do is get the rotivator in there first, go down as deep as I can with the rotivator, and then we're going to start burrowing the uh, sand and gravel 
into this pit and rotivate it again. And then with the final topping, it'll be this plus the finer sharp sand rotivated again or just mixed through together. Finally made a start. So you can see how deep down I've dug this. Now you could see it was clay mostly, but at the same time you can see how nice this little tiller breaks all this up. And that was the level. And we're down there now. So what I'm doing is I've dug a holler out. I'm going to put a, a barrel or two of uh, sand and gravel in here now. And then we're going to mix this back in with that. And then move to the middle section and further back. And continue on through like that. Right, so there's two wheelbarrowfuls. Now what you can see is quite coarse. It's sand and probably 30 mil, 20, 30 mil stones. Purpose, this is just the bottom layer. So we're going to make all of this in with this now, which is predominantly clear, and give it some really good drainage on the bottom. Right, <laughs> it's pretty much killing me, but surprisingly, I've got more done than I thought I would. Um, and I suppose if the physical exercise is doing me good in one way, but what I've got now, you can see I've got it all to go over and I've got all of this bottom base drain in here now. But the hard part comes now, I've now got to, so we want to square these sleepers up like these two. I've now got to lift these out and I've actually got to dig in there and dig down here to drop that one down because that's only tacked in temporarily. And then I've got to get these levelled up with the bottom bed. And then of course we'll need to cut some other pieces to size. But at least that's got our drain basin now a good five, six inches deep. And there's a lot of sand in there as well as the stones. Um, and I've seen stuff grow well in sand, let alone without any other nutrient. So, and the clay that we've mixed up into that. I'm going to say that will be a really good um, drainage and substrate in the bottom of the bed. And I, in my opinion, can only help. I'm so pleased I kept all this little road of it. What a back saver, even though my back's had it. <laughs> I dread to think how I would have done this without it. Right, so I've now got this short board where it needs to be on the end of that bed. But that's the end of the bed there, not this end. Remember, these were put in temporary. So I've now got that one in and got that one all leveled off as well. I've now got to drop this board. I've got to dig a trench now, right down there, to get this one level with the bottom, which is also a level. So that, that, that edge is level. It's just this last sleeper now, get digging. But last bit of real hard graft digging out to get that sleeper level, as level as I can. Down to flush with the top of this. My power back is broken, but it's done. I had to cut some more of the sleepers. Uh, with that in itself was a nightmare. But digging those ones down, oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah, digging that eight footer down into there and getting it level. The best way I could was a nightmare. But now, as you can see, I've now got a full sleeper deep of sand, gravel, soil, clay, and all chopped up with the little rotivator. Now, that's a good nine inches substrate bed, should be well draining but still have feed in it. Now we're going to put some of the very, very fine stuff on it. So we're now going to put some of this in, which is mostly sand with just a little tiny wee bit of gravel. And in comparison, that's what we put in the bottom. 
this is going to be mixed in with the compost. So, I better get cracking because if I sit down, I won't get back up. Right, that's the next level. This is the really fine stuff. So I've put a good uh, two, two inches on there. Right, now we're going to put the compost back. Add a couple more batters of this and mix that through with the compost. And that should be it. Oh look, I've just noticed these jobbies. I forget what to call them now. I'm not good with flowers, I've got to, I've got to be honest. I like flowers. <laughs> I just plant them. If I see one of the pack and I like the look of them, I plant them. Um, I can't for the life of me think what they are. But anyways, there's a couple coming through. Here's another one coming here, look. Great big one. Another one here. I didn't realise they were out. We've got nasturtiums, yellows, reds, orange. Yeah. The begonias are still going. And we've got a couple more of these things, whatever they are. Ah, yes, yeah, same jobs, I think. Whatever they are. Right. It's now come on and started hissing down. But da da! I'm finally finished, but I'm I'm finished, me. I'm finished as well. But I didn't need to put any more of that uh, sand and gravel in. There was a lot more compost there than I realised, and it chopped the bed off nicely. Now, worst case scenario, when it sinks down a bit and the rain washes it in, I might put another wheelbarrow full of that fine stuff in and just tickle it in, just to bulk it back up again. But uh, yeah. That was hard, but it was a great day's work, and it's, it's done now. It's done now. If I really wanted to, I can just make a... put a piece of plastic over that now, and forget it. Till next year. But, uh, yep. So we've still got plenty of sand and gravel, and we've still got plenty of sharp sand. Lots of it. So we might do some similar things in the polytunnel. I don't know yet. But it's going to be awesome when I can have the energy and have the time. So the two ton of, well, probably a, a ton and three quarters or whatever now, maybe a ton and a half, are just sitting out there. I'll have to leave it and just hope for the best. Right, it's now 4.45pm. Uh, five, and I've been up here since 8 o'clock this morning now. It's taken me all day to do that. <coughs> but one is hard graft and two... As you know, I have to keep stopping regularly for the catch my breath and a drink. So, absolutely delighted with that. I've just got the kettle on, having a final cup of coffee. Mrs C's on her way up now with Blue. and give him a little run around the uh, allotment and then we'll take him down home. As always, thanks for following. Thanks for your likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions, suggestions, donations. Welcome to all my new subscribers, the recent ones. And thanks for all my long-term followers. Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe. Be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video.